The time in the tunnel may have been longer, but the light at the end, that's been brighter. For Mac Jones, overnight success took a long day's work. It's just kind of coming to fruition this year, and you know, people don't realize that it takes a long time being a backup quarterback and third string quarterback. I just had to be ready for the chance. I think if you look at just this past year, it kind of looks like he came out of the blue. But just really early on, it was all about football his whole life. From the time he was five years old in Jacksonville, Mac Jones had a football in his hand and a dream in his head. And he found inspiration in one quarterback above all. He gravitated toward watching Tim Tebow. He really wanted to be like Tebow, <laughs> BLT. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen the play card that he had on his wrist. I think that is the cutest thing, and it definitely describes Mac. I could just look at it, and it says, be like Tebow. It was just kind of like, keep your composure. And whenever I got stressed out when I was little or something like that, I would just be like, all right, be like Tebow. And it was just a good reminder to just stay calm. <laughs> calm, but competitive. That's the quality that led Jones to Alabama, despite having Jalen Hurts and Tua Tungavailoa ahead of him as he arrived. And it was a pretty daunting quarterback room at that time. People were like, well, why did he go there? He's gonna never play. A lot of people would probably call me crazy, <laughs> but I was like, at some point, I'm gonna get a chance. I learned a lot from those two. I needed to develop in the weight room, in the film room, and there's no better place than to get good coaching in all areas than from Alabama. My man, this is all the little stuff that matters. One document helped in that development, a detailed outline of goals for Mac's parents. Never let anybody know that they've got to you. Fake it until you make it. The pages filled with a short and long-term process and map to follow. Confident, successful people are humble because they truly believe in themselves and they are not concerned with what others say or think. We kind of just sat down and my dad was like, hey, let's come up with like a game plan. I was just trying to get on the field. Yeah, you want all this great success, but at the same time, what are you gonna do each day to get, get there? I wanted to keep Mac focused in on that he's not the third string quarterback or the fourth string quarterback in this team. He's a first string quarterback waiting to play. Jones didn't just wait, he worked. And years later, this season, is the proof. Jones looking. End zone. It's caught for a touchdown. Mack across the middle. Touchdown, Alabama. The pass is on the money. Mack's going to go long. How about that? As a starter, leading the nation in passer rating, in completion percentage, an SEC champion, a Heisman finalist. The tunnel may have been long, but the light at the end, bright powered by Jones' patience and shaped by his belief. He took his dream from what he wanted to do when he was five years old, and he took the time to take baby steps to reach that dream. There's a lot of days where my patience was tested, but I think the whole time I really did believe that, you know, I was the guy for the team. 